an emotion can be demonstrated to you in lots of different ways and lots of different circumstances it's like the hub of a wheel that will show you lots of different ways we're going to tell you a funny experience that Esther had so in her new house which she saw several times before she made the decision to purchase it so she was well aware of what it looked like it turns out that there's almost no privacy anywhere <laughs> because the shades if you're inside you can see trees outside and if you're outside and it's nighttime and the lights are on inside you can see trees inside you can see in well Esther wouldn't let herself see any flaws with this house her perception of it was that it was the perfect house for her and it is it's just the windows are all see-through can you imagine <laughs> and there's a lot of them so she was very uncomfortable and she kept telling herself because it's up on a bluff and there are no neighbors nearby she kept telling herself no one can see in unless they're on the property and no one should be on the property so I'm good but she didn't feel good she felt insecure so she manipulated a few things she's got a long-range plan in place but she manipulated a few things and made herself feel better but in that vibrational mix when she went to calibrate it which she didn't do for a while it had to get a little absurd before she really started calibrating it in that vibrational mix was insecurity and a little bit of injustice a little bit of that previous owner should have done better even though she saw the house chose it and bought it now it's his fault <laughs> what was he thinking well he was thinking he doesn't care so in her vibrational mix were some things that she didn't even really know were there but as she's beginning now to find fault with him about this that could have been better now the house starts misbehaving in other ways one day the elevator didn't work really that's pretty big the heater in the swimming pool is intermittent and then she starts attracting people that have known him and they explain yeah he didn't know how to run the house it really wasn't what it looked like it was and so now Esther's thinking of the movie money pit <laughs> softly not big not bigly softly so then her feeling of insecurity or her feeling of vulnerability she didn't sit really to calibrate she just sort of let the condition calibrate her almost anybody would you have knee-jerk responses to things and then a series of things began to happen she was in her hotel room last weekend and someone rang the phone in her room and she was in another part of the room didn't get there in time the phone stopped ringing and while she was changing her clothes someone walked in even though there was a do not disturb sign on the door and Esther thought <sighs> that has never happened in my whole life she could put two and two together she understood that she has this little thing going on in her vibration yeah so then a series of things like that just began happening weird things things disappearing in setup that never have disappeared before and Esther knows that it's because she walked into a situation not really paying attention when she started to pay attention she didn't like what she saw she calibrated to what she saw that she didn't like activated in her vibration and then every cooperative component in the vicinity to that began showing itself to Esther well when you know about calibration it doesn't feel like someone else's fault and it doesn't feel like anything going wrong it feels like an opportunity to really acknowledge how well things are going for me does that make sense to you because anything that is active in your vibration will turn up over and over and over again and it will come to you in so many different varieties of ways that it will show you exactly what your feeling is about this and this and this and this and this a feeling that you have the ability to change you have the ability to show yourself that you are secure on every subject in the world but you have to take the time to do it because if you're still carrying around something that you learned from your mother or from your father 
They said it and you were little and they were big and you thought they were right. And if you didn't think they were right, they made sure that you did think that they were right. And so they sort of badgered you into calibrating to what they believed. And what they believed was only for them to believe. It didn't have anything to do with you, you see. And so then you come along and you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and you are drawn. Oh, you were a cooperative component. You're drawn into this magnificent relationship. And most of the time it feels just like that. But every now and again, something turns up in your experience that activates that belief that doesn't apply. And then the only thing that you've got going on, it's not as big as saying, I have to reconcile beliefs with my parents. It's not as big as that. It's only as big as I've got an active vibration that doesn't match this active vibration. And which one do I choose? Which one do I choose? When you go to a buffet, do you really think it is your responsibility to eat everything on the buffet? <laughs> or do you pick and choose? And are you good enough to yourself to pick and choose the things that you prefer? And yet with thoughts, someone's told you that this is the way you should think about this. So as a society, a worldwide society, as a mass consciousness, you gather together. It's like, let's see all of society and let's see it in this big arena and let's see all those clumps. There are straight people and gay people and Republicans and Democrats and Catholics and Protestants and all kinds of labels. So many labels that we could talk all day and all month and all year and we still couldn't even label all the labels. And so there they all are, mostly pushing against every other group for one reason or another sometimes belonging to more than one group but mad at most of the other groups only liking the groups that they're standing in feeling rather defensive feeling vulnerable and out of control in their lives and then we want to give you a perspective of your inner being and acknowledge there are only two groups those who in this moment are calibrated to their source or those who in this moment are calibrated to something else two groups and Every single group has some of both in it. Every one of those groups sometimes are calibrated to source and sometimes are calibrated to something else, you see. Finally, you have to come to an awareness that you are a dynamic being. You are a being on the move. You are a creator in the mode of creation. You are a creator continuing to create. You are in a continual state of becoming. And there was never anything that was ever lived by anyone before that is the way that you are meant to live. You came into this environment so that you could have your personal experiences, so that you could calibrate to the offness of that, so that you could calibrate to the onness of that. That's what the evolution of all species is about. That's what evolution is about. That's what expansion is about. That's what eternity is about. You've created this vibrational reality where your inner being is, bees, and radiates. And all day, every day, you have the choice of leaning, calibrating toward that which you've expanded to or trying to do the impossible and hold yourself back to something that somebody else believed. If your beliefs are not falling by the wayside all day, every day, you are not expanding. And look at those unwilling to release old beliefs. Look at their misery and their determination and their meanness and their fear. They are so afraid to let go of what they've got, even though it's not working. And you know how we know it's not working. And you know how you could know it's not working. They're miserable. How good does it feel to say to someone, you're doing something that's wrong and it's so wrong that you are damned for all eternity. <laughs> that can't be good. How bad does that feel to feel that way about yourself or about anyone? It's so bogus. It's so off. It's so not what you know, you see. So here's the thing. Never think about those thoughts again and you're home free. <laughs> Yeah, you're all laughing because you know that there's momentum. The skier's going down the slope. There's an inevitability about those thoughts until you gradually change the direction of them. So 
it helps to get out ahead of it by tuning into the love that is your source on a regular basis by stopping thought when you meditate and focus on something not very exciting like the sound of a fan or the flickering of a flame or the dripping of a faucet or even counting your own breath when you focus upon something that doesn't require much thought you slow your thought way down and when you do that you stop thought and when you stop thought you stop resistant thought and when you stop resistant thought your vibration rises and when your vibration rises you're calibrated to all of that power and you're calibrated to that point of attraction that's really a lovely thing that's what we mean by getting out ahead of it but when a thought comes to you and you trip over it big thought unless you focus on it from your now point of knowing it remains the same as when it was first offered to you in other words you've got stuff going on in your vibration that you don't even know you've got going on in your vibration and there's evidence all around about it it comes to you in different facets it comes to you in different ways it's attraction 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 for everybody it's attraction 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 Abraham wait a minute it's only attraction there's no assertion so when people talk about giving and taking it sounds like asserting and receiving there's no asserting and receiving it's just attraction attraction yeah it's just attraction it's only attraction what we want you to hear in this is that your work is to just be open to what's flowing to you and through you so you're getting the general sense of what we're talking about here so now think about your inner being your inner being always broadcasting well-being always gathering up cooperative components if you're one of the cooperative components that is drawn to that then it's attraction 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 isn't it your inner being cannot assert its knowing and its love into your experience it can only be it and you find the frequency that allows it in you see how it works when you start to think of law of attraction like this then you'll stop taking responsibility for what anybody else is doing there's one singular thing that you want to do as someone who has anything to offer anyone just be happy just be in alignment just tune in with your source energy just join that point of attraction because your inner being is attracting cooperative components so are you attracting cooperative components or are you trying to manipulate conditions and are you trying to meet the needs of the people or are you knowing that they're out there and you're tuning in only with what you want with what you intend and because you are not messing in all this stuff that isn't any of your business you're more likely to be calibrated to your highest source so one who's connected to that source energy is more powerful than a million who aren't and then you and your inner being with that powerful point of attraction are gathered to you attraction 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 most everybody is looking out into the marketplace and trying to adjust to the market so they're letting the market calibrate them and the market says shortage not enough unfair injustice the rich get richer the poor get poor there is enough for everyone this time of powerful energy moving is like a magnifying glass that is placed over the top of everything and everything that is is amplified so if you feel abundant you become more abundant if you feel impoverished you become more impoverished if you feel well you are weller if you feel sick you are sicker this is what's going on right now because the energies are moving so fast there has never been a time when it would be more prudent or helpful or feel better to you than now to get lined up with your true powerful point of attraction you see you say your prayers as if what you call God could then assert into your experience and don't you know that that source energy is flooding all of that love and well-being to you all of the time you don't need to pray for that to happen you want to calibrate to let it in to let in the blessings that you've already asked for to let in the blessings that you already deserve you see yeah really good